You know, the idea for the shift binding was actually probably about seven, eight years ago. And there was absolutely no blueprint, no thought that something like this could be actually achieved. Uh, this will be the binding that I use probably 80% of the time. And basically it's a hybrid of an alpine binding and a touring binding. And for us, it was back in the day where like, if you could make a pin binding that tours like a pin binding, but then skis like a normal binding, that's the, that's the holy grail. That's the dream. It's got a pin set up at the front and uh, all the safety features of an alpine binding. So it was an engineering feat to even get to where they did. It's been a really long process. It's a, a really technically difficult challenge for the team. And so we've, we've been seeing it for almost five years now. We want this binding that skis like a pin, or that tours like a pin binding, but, but is actually safe. The ultimate goal was to have this binding that toured easy, but then you could ski like you want to ski with no compromises. It opens up a whole new possibility for me for skiing. Um, I don't have to choose between taking a heavy frame binding and touring all day and working my legs or have to take a pin binding and worry about you know hurting myself but being able to tour really far. Now I've got a binding I can do both and that's, that's huge. Thank you.